going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And in breaking news, there are reports homes have now been lost. Take shelter as the fire front approaches. Oh my God, I'm exhausted. I've had no water. New South Wales will be in a state of emergency from today for the next seven days. We're going to have more than 100 fires burning across New South Wales at the moment and half of them are not contained. So me and Brenna are in Sydney and we've got a fire come. Now, our farm in Braywood and all the highways are closed. So right now, I'm going to show you guys on the next shot that we have to go on all the different roads, different highways to get actually home. This is our normal route to go up and we have to take this long way to Wollongong and go up some weird dirt tracks to get home to save our farm. Alright, that's not the main fire. The main fire is still down further. This fire is insane. Bloody firefighters. All right, so the fire is just behind my farm, my forest right there, and they've sent bulldozers all the way around my property to protect it from all this grass, and my house is just down there. Can't see it's through the thick smog. Oh, right. uh, we got clock, clock, clock. Go forward. Go, go. Go Jimbo! Alright, it's about 8 o'clock now. We're still out here fighting this fire. My farm is directly about 400 metres behind me. So we've been fighting this one fire for like nearly 3 hours. It's getting pretty crazy. Having my first sip of water. 12 o'clock at night, we're refilling in there, out of this creek. It's getting pretty crazy. Been fighting all day now. It's the third day, most craziest day so far. Not over yet. Keep you guys updated. Alright, uh, last three days. Let's come over to this ridge and look how crazy it is. Eight, five, eight meters up, coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're waiting for it, you can see it. Yeah. All right, so we're going back out. Right now it's uh, 2.30 in the afternoon. The fire has just gone again. This right here is my farm. And you can tell that mountain, behind that mountain right there, it is on fire. So all that behind there is on fire. And we're trying to stop it from coming onto my place. My house is just right there. Right there. Flog took me quite crazy on different days, fighting it. Um, but I just wanted to show what it was like. Um, this never really happens ever, and hopefully it doesn't happen ever again. Um, but I thought I'd capture it and just film on my phone. It's hard to film because I'm fighting it all the time, and then if I'm not fighting it, I'm resting. And so, yeah, um, try and capture it as much as I can. and. Um, yeah, we can hopefully get this fire out. Thank you so much to everyone who's out here helping us, all the local boys, firefighters, everyone getting amongst it and trying our best to put out this fire. We have to wear these smoke masks because it's so hard to breathe and I have asthma, so that's even worse. Um, but yeah, let's get this biatch out. All right, so that right there is 
next to my place. My That's my place right there. And this is the fire. So there's a road just separating us and we just put it out. This is what we are fighting all last night. There's still some bits are going up in there. This is what we are fighting last night. I'm gonna fight this fire. And we're sucking it out of the creek. So there's fuel and everything here ready. And the fire's just behind there. In the hole. Fill it up and that's how I fill this water tank up every day. So on the back of this, have 1,000 litres of water. My dad has his truck and he has 3,000 litres. A typical firefighting truck has 1,000 litres of water. So, same as me. And this is like the old school fighting type pub. This takes me about five minutes to fill this up really quick. All right, this is day six. The fire's gotten heaps bigger. It is jumping the road. Shit's getting crazy. Shit's full crazy. We're gonna see what we can do. Can we go over this? Can we go over the, um, this? Johnny's just up there filling up a water truck. Yeah, it's sort of slowly going around that way. Alright, try and rev it more. Alright, Breno. Crazy. Alright, so you were just down the GoPro of freaking crazy shit. We're gonna change this next shot. The water helicopters are dropping water. And this is scary. We just we had this whole bit, bit, bit behind me on fire, which is crazy. We beat this fire in this part, but we think it's jumped further. I probably got shit all over my face and super dirty, but this is hopefully we can save these people's houses and beat this fire. We just found this fire up in the hill 
And me and Brenna come with the ute. Holy dooly, I'm sweaty and dirty. And we just put out this whole back section. This, our neighbor's place is right there. My property is to the right here. And for last week, we've been battling the same fire on just on different hills. This is the scariest it's been so far. Oh my God. So we're winning. Have time to film a little bit. Oh my God, I'm exhausted. I had no water. This fire's creeping up this hill even more and more. My friend's house is directly behind us. My house is less than 300, 200 meters. My farm is like 200 meters that way. Alright. Yeah, it's not too bad. I'm gonna reverse a little bit more in there. And then, there's a little bit over there. How long's your hose? Yeah. At a mountain of a flame, like 30 meters in the sky, just charging at me, at me, my brother, and another dude. We just got home. I don't even know what day this is of us fighting this damn freaking fire. Um, but every day it sort of gets really bad, like one to like four o'clock. Um, that's when it's really hot here. But yeah, you can't see anything, it's super foggy and smoggy. I'm gonna go in and have a shower and have a rest for today and hopefully it doesn't start back up tonight. But yeah, see you tomorrow. <laughs> this is great.